Okay, so we're back at the farmhouse and I'm really hoping that we can have a better day than we did in the last vlog that you guys saw. I think we worked everything out with the bathroom. I never even showed you guys, but I'll show you in just a second. Today, both my parents are coming. They're gonna work on electric and then his dad is gonna be coming and I'm not really sure what we're gonna work on because I don't know if we can actually work on the bathroom until stuff gets here and the parts that I had to order are like two weeks out. We'll figure out something to do. There's plenty of work to do. And this is how the spigot goes on. As you can see, it's way wider than the holes. So I ordered two adapters that go on the back of this that make, it's like an attachment, so it'll stick out to probably here. And it makes it to where the pipes will fit and they go out that. I think I got it solved and I can still use this. So we're only at like 25 bucks for adapters instead of like over 200 for a whole new faucet fixture. And then the other thing that I ordered that was wrong was this piece right here. The tub drain stop. You just flip this up and it uh, makes it stop. But I don't know if I wasn't paying attention or if... Because I went back and looked and it wasn't supposed to come with any other parts. But I did not order the pipes and the, or the piece that attaches through here that controls this. That It connects this piece to the drain. So I forgot to order that also. And I also forgot to order the bathroom sink drain plug. So I actually ordered one off of Amazon. It was like $25 also. And it's just one where you tap it so that because the faucet I ordered, it doesn't have the adapter to be able to pull a plug up. So I just had to get one of the push button ones. Push the button and it seals it and then you push it again and it releases the seal. So hopefully it'll work and they both should be here by next Saturday. So Hopefully they'll get here. Literally there were so many errors that because this is the first time I've ever dealt with like plumbing and I am not a plumber by any means. This error on my part because I just didn't know what to order. But we did stop at Lowe's this morning and I picked out a toilet. So hopefully that's one step closer and we can work on some of the plumbing today. I just don't know if we'll be able to work on the plumbing for the bathtub where the faucet thing is gone. But hopefully we can just hold it in place and like that'll be good enough. The, our goal is still to do the bathroom and get this floor tiled and the fixtures set in the bathroom and stuff. And once we have a bathroom, we are going to live here because I bought like an air fryer and a toaster and I have a crock pot so that we can cook. After the bathroom, we have to start working on our side wood stove and installing HVAC and duct work and stuff like that because it's almost winter time and we have no heat source right now. So we have to get that installed. That'll be our next project after the bathroom. We're just trying to get it to where we can live here and we can do without a kitchen for a while.
So we ended up getting electric ran in the cellar and I realized I'd never showed you guys. These are the braces that we added down here where the wall had started to come in. And then those are also gonna be the braces for the stairs that we rebuild. <music> It stays so wet in here because the window is busted out and we still have not even cleaned the trash out of here yet. So we're calling it an evening here at the farmhouse and I wanted to show you guys. My father-in-law actually had a heat gun so he let me borrow it and it works so good. It already took off all this and of course like it's slow. I'm not sure it's any faster than sanding but it is so much easier. I do not have to kill myself trying to hold the sander up there. The heat gun is so light and it's easy to scrape. So after I get the majority of it done, the paint off, then I'll have to go back and sand. And I started working on the trim some too. It worked really good on the trim. I burn it in some spots trying to get the paint off. The gray is by far the hardest to get off. Like, it is close to impossible. Like, it bubbles, and if you do not scrape it off immediately, then it just hardens right back up. In the living room, my mom worked on scraping uh, these two walls of the wallpaper, and she's almost done. I'm just happy because I do not have to scrape the wallpaper. She does a really good job at it, and I love her for and here it. here in the bathroom, we got all the holes cut for the plumbing, but we didn't run the plumbing just because today hunting season came in, so they he wanted to go hunting. So we called in the evening early for him so that he could have time Up to go here. Hunting. I am so excited. My dad got the light in the laundry room, and it just looks so white and bright. And I can just envision like a fancy little light hanging and washer and dryer, and it just being clean. And then the bathroom, it was so this switch right here was so hard for him to put in, and so was the one in the bathroom because the attic slopes off right here at this point. So he literally had to squeeze to try and get the electric shoved down in between the wall. And it was so hard for him. He could barely fit. The old one was, and it was just a thermostat box. And then this is where the outlet was. And we only did one vanity light in here above. And I'll plan on getting like a set of three that has three lights on it. Just because I didn't want to go back with the sconces. And I love this, you can see the brick. That's where the medicine cabinet was. It's so short in here. So, like, I'm 5'5", five, five, and I would say these ceilings are probably, like, 6'2", maybe 6 and a half foot, or something like that. I decided not to put a light on the ceiling, just the one on this, because this bathroom will be a wet room, and we're just going to take this tub out and tile the floor and the walls. Everything is going to be tiled, so that it doesn't, ma doesn't matter if it gets wet. We plan on this being like the kids bathroom just because it is so short and it's upstairs with all the kids rooms But if we have guests they'll use this bathroom too because the guest room will be up here I'm so happy that we have electric up here And this is the first thing that has been done in the laundry room or the bathroom like we have not even gutted this bathroom yet so I literally dread taking that tub out of here because it is really heavy cast iron We both decided that we just wanted to do this as a wet room and just make it simple and easy and not have to because kids are messy and I don't know, we don't have kids, but in the future we like to think ahead for if we ever do have kids. This vent, I don't know, I hate this vent. I hate vents in general, but we're going to have to put one in in the downstairs bathroom also. So I'm trying to decide what I want to do down there for that bathroom. But I definitely want a smaller one for up here because that one is at least a 12 by 12 and it is huge. But this day was so much better than the last day we had here and we got so much done in comparison to the last time we were here. Hopefully you guys like this vlog better than the last one. I know I enjoyed making this one more than I did the last one. But that's going to be it for today's vlog. So thank you for watching and I hope you will like and subscribe. So Ben and I just left the farmhouse and we were talking about how my dad ran electric in the upstairs bathroom today. And it hit us like a ton of bricks. It was like, why are we not using that upstairs bathroom? Because it has plumbing. So we could have been living there this entire time. All we need to do is just turn on the water and make sure up there and make sure that there's no leaks. So that is going to be what we start working on on Tuesday. Well, actually Monday evening.